It's mackerel fishing season here again, and we've been out a few times in our little rowing boat. Wow. How many are there? Altogether, I think there are 88. We have plenty of fish now for the winter, wrapped up tight in the freezer. So now we can experiment a little. This time I split them open as a kipper, so the backbones stay in for now. It's a really quick way of doing it. Then I put them in the salt for a day and I rinsed them really well and then I soaked them in fresh water for another hour just to make sure they wouldn't be too salty. I didn't get to use the smoker at all last year because Sandra broke her leg and we couldn't go fishing. It's looking a bit tatty but it's still working fine. An hour or so in there, and the fish is transformed. While we were waiting, we dug up some horseradish from the garden. Is that enough, Tim? I think so. Lovely. Ooh, horse radish. <laughs> it was a very showery day. Mackerel works really well in a smoker because it has so much flavour that the smoke doesn't overwhelm it. And you can tell when it's done, when it breaks apart. And it is amazing. At this stage, the meat just lifts away from the bones. Most went into the freezer at this stage, but I minced up some in our reliable old meat mincer. I also minced up some chickpeas and the horseradish. In fact, I should have put a bit more horseradish in, but never mind. Then I stirred in some of Sandra's homemade sheep's cheese, but we didn't have enough, so I had to add some shop bought cottage cheese too. And then some lemons. And it's done. Lots of little packets for the freezer. And some for tea. Mm.